Pre-show show, the show before the show is the pre-show show. Pre-showing, we pre-show it all. It's the pre-show show. Gary wants to go out, but he can't. You know why? If you've been to the pre-show show, it's the pre-show show. Gary's going nowhere. I don't feel like tasting them today. I made myself a. Uh, Peanut butter hot chocolate. A preview of a photo I will post later. Matter of fact, someone just take a screenshot of that and send it to me. And if it frames up right, I'll, I'll post that instead. I just took a picture of it. I'm trying to hold it still for your screenshot, okay? Trying. Someone hooked me up with a screenshot. Uh, if I use your screenshot, I'll send you something. Uh, Gary, come on now. You're not going out. Nope, nope. But yes, I am also wearing my onesies. I'll let Pally out, because Pally knows what's up. And, and Ella. Uh, so how do I do this? It's hard to like open the door. Ah, 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 see? See, I knew it. Let me go chase this dog now, let me. So it's the pre-show show. show. Uh, first thing I'd like to answer is, I know you might be wondering if today we are going to be doing a show from home. No, we are not. Uh, but we are planning other shows from home. Um, if you can imagine, it was a major feat to just kind of get that one first tester show from home done. Uh, lots of weird stuff going like, you know, I don't know, apps and I'm four. I'm, well, I'm 45. I almost said I'm 44. I just turned 45. I'm 45, and I barely understand and care about technology. Okay, just know it was a lot of technological technological stuff. Gary, come on, back in the house. We're not chasing you today. I want to drink my drink. Go. Go. Sound like a monkey. Go, go, go. Some racers will have a good time with that. Uh, well, let's go check the flowers. Let me get my first sip. And what's up? I see someone said, happy birthday. Thank you. What's up, Michelle Spencer? What's up, Leah? What's up to the Sunshine Crew? Is Ma Beach here? I have a, a group of friends here on social media that wanted to title themselves the Sunshine Crew. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. I like that. So shout out to the Sunshine Crew. Put my drink down, just letting the marshmallows melt. And look at this fool. Look at this. It is really opened up, huh? Hey, 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 hey. Nobody got time for that. Look at me. Look at me. Look at what. Do you see what? Do you see what I'm working with here? Do you see what I left the house with here? Hey, 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 hey. You got me going down a hill. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. And flip flops. Come on, Gary. So uh, the show today, if you're uh, new to the pre-show show, thanks for hanging out. I'm aware so many more people have um, extra time on their hands and also uh, you're looking into cooking and how you can get food on the table for your friends and family that you're quarantining with. So if this is uh, your first time here, uh, usually I kind of like let you know what's going on with the show today, but you got to tell me first what's going on with the show today because I didn't check. I didn't check the DVR. <laughs> Look, I put on my pink wig today. Gary. <clears throat> That's just the first thing in the morning wake up cough. Been doing pretty good. I had the highs about a week and a half ago. Go, go, up, up, up. Look at this fool. Ah, 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 ah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't understand. He always wants to go find the deer. There's Ella. <laughs> oh, shout out to Miss Jazzy. Shout out to Britt Lynn Ipanema and Howard Freeland. How you doing? Where am I quarantining? I'm quarantining on Rescue Mountain. It's in the middle of nowhere, Jersey. And I wouldn't like to say nowhere, but you know, because this is somewhere, but deep Jersey. 
What else up? What's up, Monique? I see you. What's up, Happiness Dance? Yeah, this fool, Gary. I'm gonna take him right in. He wasn't even supposed to come out. I'm gonna take him right inside. Look, as soon as I get to him, I'm gonna scoop him up like a baby under my arms. And he's going in. He got me. Walking the hill. I didn't even want to walk. <laughs> uh, 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 Gary, come here. Watch. Watch how I scoop this fool up. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Take Gary into the house. Want to say hi to everybody? Let them know how you try to run away. All right, so um, today's show, oh, cooking with herbs. So tell me what we're making. Because the interesting thing about that, so we, we take that show about a month and some change ago. I mean, we're putting shows together. Obviously, we want to theme them. So, there were two shows back-to-back -back where we really wanted to focus on herbs. If you remember, a couple of weeks ago, I dropped my little remote charger. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, come on, Ella. And Polly just likes to hang out. Go, go, go. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, we did a show called like spring flavors or something like that that I did the spätzle with the scallions in it my bosses at the time were like okay we got a show we really want to feature you know green and fresh herbs and, you know because spring is on the way for people and that's when I said okay yeah let's we can do some um, fun moments with the spätzle and then it was like, well, what about this next show? So quite honestly, I don't remember what I made. If you tell me, I'll expound upon it. I'm gonna go sit down. I'm gonna sit right here with my drink that I left right there. And I'm gonna enjoy this view with you. I hope it's good. <laughs> As you can see in my stories, I don't measure. Oh, all right. Oh, take my shades off. Okay, somebody said, don't forget about the hot chocolate. Okay, honey, I see you. Hello? You see? <clears throat> What's up, Joe Dizzle? Assisto. If you see a key. No, oh, okay. I see, huh? You need that wig, honey, dude? I got this wig from City Girl Curls. I didn't brush it well. I just kind of put it on. But they have it in like a grayish color and this pink color and um, I think maybe black. I thought it was so cute. Um, if you follow me, just go into who I follow and just type in City Girl and then you'll you'll see their, their page, City Girl Curls. Uh, very inexpensive synthetic wigs that you can have fun with around the house or on TV. <laughs> Somebody was picking on my hair the other day. It's a, it's like the favorite thing for people with insecurities to do is like pick on uh, someone else's features because I think that people use the weapon that they think will most hurt themselves. So when people use that weapon, you have to realize, oh, words must hurt you because they don't hurt me, but I see you using them to hurt. Um, and some girl was picking on my wig and I'm like, yeah, but like imagine it. Can you imagine your hair starting to fall out? right when you're chasing a TV dream goal, right? Like you have a catering company, you're on radio, you get a chance to go on TV, and then you're like, wow, this would be really great for my business, or I could continue my career in another way, and then your hair starts falling out when you're chasing a visual medium. Um, I mean, I gotta tell you, uh, not because I wanna be, but if anyone out there is trying to figure out how to just keep moving on, just holla at me, because I didn't care. I don't, I don't let the small stuff like that slow me down, you know. I told her, listen, if I just had my bald head out, you'd talk about that too. So, <laughs> get, get your life. <laughs> oh, they hard. Oh, God, this is so good. 
Mm, mm, mm. Ah, so delicious. So yeah, shout out to all the wiggies out there. Yeah, gentle. Jen, Jen like pen. <laughs> no problem sharing the view with you. So on the show today, uh, on the kitchen on Food Network, we are back in the studio. We taped this show um, a month and some change ago. Uh, maybe there's some people that aren't hanging out with us right now. Uh, when they watch the show, they'll think we're back in the studio because even when we aired the uh, first show during this uh, coronavirus uh, lockdown vibe, uh, people thought, uh, that we should have been social distancing and didn't realize that we had taped that show uh, prior to everything happening. Um, is the hot chocolate spiked? Eve Nicole, come on, girl. Just look at my stories. I made it in my stories, okay? Matter of fact, that's a good photo, too. Somebody screenshot that. <laughs> With my tore up thumb. <laughs> Send me the DM. I'll put one of them up. Ask, it, ask people if I have too many marshmallows. Blue Man Group says, what kicks am I wearing? What's up, dude? Long time no see. Got to hang out again. Come back to Cali. See if we can play in business some more. Enjoying building my little infladium moment, though. I'm wearing the Adidas slides. Brand new. Because I always seem to run down these little bumps here with my dry feet. <laughs> That's another thing I've been telling myself. Since we are enjoying a lot of time on our own now, what, what are these self-care things that you can do? And I thought, you know, I could take better care of my feet. <laughs> so I remember I told you um, a few weeks ago when we were on live how I was uh, spending extra time and care on my feet. That was before we were on the lockdown, so now I'm still doing it. We'll see if I can get some baby feet by the end of this. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> what's up, Britt, Gabriella, and what's up, Mercy, Nat Muck, I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking, what's up, Dr. Shoud, what's up, Spun Glasses, and Sunshine, Loves Andy, and Zalia, so enjoy the show today, um, I was talking to Katie, we were texting earlier, yesterday I went to the butcher, to pick up some meats, obviously, but I've been telling people, think about your butcher if you are a little bit afraid of going to the grocery store, um, if you don't um, want to deal with the, the, the closeness. Um, a lot of times butchers are smaller, obviously, and because they're a small business, they're a little bit more in control of how they uh, regulate. So I went to uh, Rath's yesterday, and he not only has beef and meats and chicken and things like that, uh, he had bread milk, eggs, and then he also uh, sous vide, uh, or like, uh, what do you do, uh, how do you put uh, the, these vegetables in these plastic pouches um, that you could just like drop into water and boil. So I had some broccoli last night with dinner. I made some salmon and broccoli and um, mashed potatoes. Uh, it's like, if I didn't take a photo, did it really happen? <laughs> but it did. And... Um, the broccoli was so crunchy. It was so nice to have a crunchy vegetable. <laughs> so I was talking to Katie about that this morning, like what crazy times it is. Like I am excited about a crunchy vegetable. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to all of the butchers. If you haven't thought about that yet locally, even if you've never gone to your local butcher or even know if there is one, just look it up. Uh, guarantee you if there's a local butcher in your area or a baker, uh, they're still in business. Um, they probably have a uh, drop-off or social distancing rule. You just reach out to them and figure out how to do it and get it done and take care of the uh, small businesses around you. Um, Grand Rising from Kingston, Jamaica. Trenchtown, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing all right in Trenchtown. It would be devastating. Sunshine loves Andy. Oh, I don't know what you're replying to. I don't get that at all. Why can't people be nice? Love your wigs. Oh, people talking about my hair. Yeah, I don't get it. I must be behind in comments. Oh, gosh, yeah, so many. Sorry. 
Um, if you made a comment and you feel like I don't see it, don't worry. It's, I usually watch this um, within the day because, you know, it goes away in a day just so I can see the comments. If I need to talk to someone specifically or ask someone, you know, for more information about what they commented about and stuff like that. So I will see you every single one, every single comment. And I watch it back silent. I don't want to hear my voice. I already know what it sounds like. I just watch it back silent and look at the comments. Um, thanks, Ski Wee. Oh, okay. You must be. A, what is that? Is that a Delta or is that an AKA? Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Lauren. I see you, Carol. Twenty one eighty five. Did he have paper towels? Um, n not for sale uh, at the butcher, but I do know that you know, like, like if you make these relationships with your butchers, I've been talking about this for years. They do things for you that they just wouldn't normally do for any customer, right? Like maybe give you the cuts that they save for themselves or let you know when they get a good shipment in. So I say all that to say, no, he did not have paper towel. But I feel like if I asked him if I could buy some paper towels from him and he had some, I feel like he would say, yeah, because it's a community. It's it's family. Um, you really got to take care of your local businesses, especially if you're um, in one of these areas where these big companies um, kind of come in and make a footprint on your area and um, put out those small businesses or uh, take a little bit of their business away. Even more so now, you got to look out for them. Um, someone said, "Cook something." Just kidding. Well, I'm gonna be cooking in a minute, just on TV. Yeah, I don't, I don't usually cook uh, on my stories or live because uh, I feel like that's my job. And if it weren't my job, maybe I would do it on social media. But you could see me on on uh, my job. And then I'll just like share stuff here, but I don't want to do like a whole production and cook and stuff. I'm lazy. <laughs> do you want to do your job at home? <laughs> All right. Shout out to Pennsylvania. You mean gentrification? No, not gentrification so much, King or 06. I mean like in an area like where I am, super rural, where some places, these big box places, they come in and they put their business <clears throat> and because they can uh, lower prices and they have bulk and, and more supply, you know, people start going there and they forget about their local businesses. And, you know, yeah, I'll still go there. You see, I got my retumbler, you know what I'm saying, from Walmart last week. I'll still go there. And I get my nails done at Walmart sometimes. <laughs> but I still like to support the local butchers, bakers, you know, the, the people that have tried to capture the American dream, which is working for yourself, uh, providing for your family, um, and, and being an entrepreneur, you know, I, I really like to try and support that because I think that that's kind of what I'm doing on a, on a smaller level as well. You know, I don't have a um, brick and mortar, you know, um, but I have an intellectual property business and I am using the, the intellectual property that is within me to take care of myself. So I feel like I'm a part of the American dream. I want to support that. Uh, so if you can, get out there and do that. <clears throat> What's up to Solo Suites by Melissa? You're in the city. I think the closest local is in Amish country an hour and a half away. Well, Luna, you never know. Um, a lot of people don't realize just go to your Maps app on your phone and just type in Butcher and and hit enter and see what's around see what's close to you you never know it could be around the corner from you um what's up shelly belly yeah local businesses are the jam We've got about four minutes to go if anyone has any questions drop them right now in the comments i've caught up, caught up and i'm at the bottom school and people don't even know what brick and mortar means okay brick and mortar meaning like i don't have an office um, and actually, I was talking to a friend um, a month and some change ago about my business and told him I didn't have an office. And he was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, do you think, do you th what do you think? Uh, you think I'm a big business? Like, <laughs> first of all, I kept it small. And I'm so very happy I kept it small because times like this, I could take care of my people. I haven't added on a phalanx of people. And, and um, you know, they're, they're, they're wondering where their next check is coming from now. No, I could take care of my people because I keep it small. But yeah, I don't have a brick and mortar. And the funniest thing is, is that uh, just a few days ago, I saw him post a uh, a screenshot of his company's Zoom meeting, and I mean, there were like thirty people on that Zoom. And his company, in my, I don't know, but and he was saying that he was thinking about trying to slim down. But I think I could run his company just with like four or five people. It's a lot of employees. So a shout out to the employers right now uh, that are trying to figure it out. And uh, I've been saying to a lot of people, I think that after this is over, employees 
uh, should uh, work on getting some better rights. I think that if a company wants us to give two weeks notice, which obviously now my career field is not the same, but I've been there. Uh, if a company wants us to give two weeks notice, then I would ask for them to have at least two weeks reserved to pay me if they don't get paid, right? So like, it just really surprised me that after only two weeks of not being in business, companies didn't have money in their coffers to pay their employees. Like, what business plan is that where you don't have money to take care of your people, but you want them to give you two weeks? So. I've actually been thinking like it'd be nice if it were like every company for every employee uh, would have to have you know their reserves for like a month for that employee if something should happen and then okay fine we'll give you a month's notice when we're gonna quit you know what I'm saying <laughs> but uh, yeah I just don't understand companies going belly up after just two weeks of no income um, anyway so someone says quick questions what is a good salmon side dish well I had some mash last night um, I almost did some cauliflower mash, but I did potatoes instead. Um, and then I had some broccoli with it. What's up, Pally? Look who's coming to visit. Well, there we go. <laughs> Pally's that cool dog you can leave outside, and she just kind of moseys. Um, someone else asked for us, so there was another question I wanted to get to really quick. Uh, oh, where'd I get my pajamas? I wanted to share that with you because I hate people that don't tell you where they get their clothes. It's, um, jumpin' Jammers. And the Z at the end of Jammers is, uh, the, the S at the end of Z, Jammers is a Z. So it's jumpin' Jammers. Uh, dot com. And they might have an Instagram. They've got all kinds of designs and, um, I've got one with happy faces on it and all kinds of stuff. So check it out. Uh, enjoy the show. It's coming up in about a minute. Um, and I really appreciate you hanging out with these lives. I'm going to give you a little bit of Pally before I go. And a little bit of the view I'm so thankful for. Just thankful. Just very, very thankful. People are struggling right now. People are having to say hello to new family members from afar and goodbye to family members from afar. So I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about the people who don't know where their next check is coming from, who are filing and waiting, who are still going to work, stressed out, thinking about you. Have a good rest of the weekend and enjoy the show.